Well, well, well. Mississippi, Mississippi Survivor here. Thank you guys for tuning in and checking me out. Today, guys, we're going to be reviewing the Blue Eddie EB3A. Now, I've done a lot of research on this unit. I mean, a lot. <laughs> I don't think there's too much about it. I don't know. But this holds us, what I call, I don't know, I got to be dramatic. <laughs> Holds a staggering 268 watt hours. But the thing I like about it is it's lit as a uh, lithium phosgate. So it's a better battery and the cycles, you get way more cycles than um, you would get with the uh, ion battery. Uh, this one here somewhere around 2000, something like that cycles are better. I don't I don't get the exact quote on that, but I know it's 2,000 or higher uh, charge cycles. And that, I mean, that's a lot of time to recharge this unit. <laughs> that's that's going to last you for years and years and quite a few years. And you see right here on the side, it does say Blue Eddy EB3A, 268 watt hours. Okay, let's go out here. We'll start here. First of all, it's got a, a, a beautiful display screen here. You got your input for your watts. You got your percentages, what's, what's in here. You got your output, 60 hertz, and you got 30 point of hours for the unit, depending on what you run on. That, that totally depends on what you run on the unit. We got two USB uh, ports right here. They're both 3 amp, 5 volt, 3 amp. Then you got a USB C, which is 100 watts. What was that? A pin? Nah, oh well. Here is your input to charge your unit. Also has a circuit breaker here. And here it has input for your solar. Here. It's your standard 12 volt DC uh, charging uh, DC port to uh, run different devices. And also got your uh, output here as well, the 12 volt outputs there as well. So you probably run somewhere around about 100, possibly 100, 150 watts, somewhere in there to give and take. Got your two standard AC plugins here, one, two. It's good. There's a separate power button for your AC. There's a separate power button for your light. We have it in the front. And there's a separate power button to just turn the unit on itself, which would also activate your USB, USB-C, and your DC ports as well. On the top of the unit, you'll see here it has an output here of 15 watts. They will charge up your devices. Whatever devices that you have, the phone devices, I don't know, some, some may work, some don't. I haven't got any mines that work just yet. I really don't care because that ain't what I bought it for, but some people may like it. I can care less. <laughs> but nevertheless, it is there for the people that do want to know about it. Uh, I put this manual here for just picture purposes. I already went through the manual. It's not a whole lot in it. It's pretty thin manual, so I went through the whole manual and... Uh, Look through and see if there's anything I need, some anything else I may have need to know to tell you guys. Um, the unit also comes with an app. Unfortunately, I'm taking a I'm video on you on the phone where the app is on, so I can't show you the app. Which I'll probably do that in a uh, in another vi video. In the video, I'll just tell you what the app controls pretty much. It controls your turning on of your uh, your AC, your DC. Uh, you can disconnect from the unit also uh, with your display. It lets you know what's coming in, what's going out, how much time you got left. You got your eco mode also. Uh, I think the alert for your UPS. Now, that's another great feature about this unit that I really like. It has a UPS built in. I love that. 
Um, like you have it plugged into another device and the power shuts off with an automatic pickup on this unit, which is awesome. So that's a that's a really great feature. And it's like um, two, two to three, two milliseconds or something like that. You wouldn't even be able to tell that uh, that the power went out because it'll pick it up so quick. Um, I also have this circuit breaker right here in case you throw a breaker on the unit, overload or whatever. You can reset your circuit breaker right there. Um, this is pretty quiet. It's not that loud. It's pretty quiet for the most part. Uh, your fans are going to be in the side of the unit itself. Or you're breathing in that side. Uh, and out this side. Of course, you got your standard light here on the front here. I'm trying to get this to work now. It's your low. It's pretty bright. Put a bright light, man. That's a second mode for it. And then they got this ridiculous. I don't know anybody that ever used SOS. And even if they put SOS out, who would know how to read it? Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Okay. That's that's irrelevantly crazy. But you know me. <laughs> hey, I like to test things out and push it to the limit. So we're going to be playing with this here a little bit. And we're going to see what we can come up with. That's right. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you before I go there. It comes with these, which is your USB, your um, MC4 connectors, which are barrel plug. So you can plug in solar. Uh, I opted out of getting the solar panels at the time because I didn't really know that it came with the panels. So I just got the actual unit itself. But you can get this unit with the uh, with the panels. I just didn't get it. I didn't know at the time. Once I found out, I won't worry about it because it was, it was the unit itself was about two oh nine, so that's not bad. Uh, that's that's awesome for a, a unit that has a, a inverter of six hundred watts. So six hundred watt inverter. Uh, Fosgate batteries in it. I mean, geez. This a pack this little unit with with a punch, and then it's got a surge rate up to a thousand, a thousand watts. That's off the chain. <laughs> well, so again, that's what this is for. So I am going to get those panels. I am going to get them. This is a power cord. It's a standard. PC, power cord that works on any computer, desktop, not laptop, desktop, unless you have a brick that has this style hooked up to it, which is good. That's another thing I do like, and I have to say thank you, Blue Eddy, on that, because it has support. It's inside. You don't have to worry about the brick, and then you got to worry about the brick going out. With the brick go out, then now you got to go buy another brick. Not necessarily that piece I had, but you had to buy another brick. But now it's inside the unit. All you have to do is take that cord with you, and then you're good to go. So, this is time for the old Michael. Old Mississippi Survivor. As soon as I get this right. Bear me for one second. Let's get this in here. Uh, all right. My handy dandy multi plug. Boom. And yes, of course, let's get the AC going. AC's on. Let's plug it up. And you can see that this is the heater. This is the cord. There's no trickery. <laughs> and I'm also, since it's such a beast, ha <laughs> we're going to do two today. Because it seems to be so gangster. We're going to see what we can do about this gangsterness. All right, so the first unit, I see, is my AC on? Yes, my AC is on. 
turn that off, turn my power on, my like AC, and we're going to try the first heater. Boom. Ah, it's not Tisha. Power the unit back on. That's, yeah, we're going to definitely go over pros and cons, I promise you. Because I see some things I just don't like. This unit is on. Pulling at 308 watts. And it's amazing to me because it, when I read the instructions on this thing, it didn't say that the unit was, uh, it didn't say that on the on the actual container that it was running that, it was running that. It was running a lot lower. It was with like a 200 watt uh, heater or yeah, like about 200 watts. That is not 200 watts. Now, what we're going to do here again because we're not dealing with what we did before when we did the uh, the EBL. We're doing this one here is much stronger than the EBL. So we're going to go here. The unit number two. Oh, we got me. Let's see. Let's see if we get stabilized here. Turn that off. Uh, you know me, I don't quit. Go back, turn your AC back on, turn your power back on. There's something about this particular one that just doesn't pull what they say it does. Now, let's see, let's kill this one here. Let's get the surge for this one going. See. Did you see how high the surge for this one jumps up? It jumps way up until like the 400s and something. That's crazy. I'm going to get this one toned down to where it normally would be at. And let's see can I start this one now that I got that one down. And I did. Well, you can see, I've got two heaters running off of this one unit. Turn my power light on. And you can see that it's pulling 494 watts is what it's pulling right now. Which, and it's at 95%. That's awesome. Uh, and I still could plug up a cell, plug up with one, two, probably three or four cell phones and still charge those cell phones right along with why I got these guys running at the same time. No trickery. These are the cords. There it is. And it's running this with no problem. And it's also, it's on eco at that. It's awesome. I love it. So, and they feel kind of good, but this is kind of cold in here. Okay, so let's shut these down. Uh, you will see right now that after they stabilize, most people say, "Oh, it won't run it." They're like, they'll turn on real quick, turn on it, the, and then it shuts. Oh, it won't run it sometimes. You just got to take your time and look at, know your product, know what you got. Like, if you turn these heaters on, these heaters, just like anything else, they got a surge. For some reason, one of them has a surge. This red one has a bigger surge. They're the same exact heater. It's just crazy. But the red one has a bigger surge. It jumps all the way up to 400 and some watts and surge is starting. Then it drops back down to a normal capacity, about two something. This one here jumps no further than about a little over three and goes back but once you get them heat turn them on heat them up get them hot then shut them off and then turn them on one at a time and they won't give you that hot surge because it's already hot and you can run both of them on this unit so it drops me down to uh yeah 87 
0.4 hours left. It lets me know how long I can run the unit itself. But in an emergency, man, and you needed some, some heat, and you had just some solar panels, you can run that, man, get you some nice heat off two different units. You can have one on each person. I mean, it would be good. Or you can close the, close the door I and mean, close up all the doors, and and you'll be you'll be amazed. I've done before, and these things will heat up the room. You'll tell the difference when you go out to how, into a colder area of, of your house, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So, again, I can't add to this. Oh, what the hell. Let's just prove the point. That this is a monster. <laughs> prove the point. One second. Find me another phone. It should go up more. Oh, I gotta turn the DC on. That's what's going on with it. Alright, so I'm gonna plug this one up. As you can see, it's charging. Same cord. Same cord. And it's still under 500 watts. I could plug up several phones and, and it continues charging off several different phones. This is awesome. I'm impressed with this unit for the size of a unit that it is and the punch that it, it packs a it packs a really big punch for a unit that's so small. Uh, this thing is running somewhere around about 13, 14. Somewhere around about 13 or 14 uh, pounds, somewhere in there. I'm guessing. I'll say in between 10 to 14. I know it's 10 for sure, but somewhere between 10 and 14 is what it's running. So, put that back in a minute. Okay. And again, there it is. It's doing the EB3A. And I mean, you can't, I mean, guys, you got to look at it. For $200, you would only get a 200 watt. A 200 watt in a power station like this. Ain't no way you're going to get 600 watts. Nowhere. Nowhere on the market. You're going to see a 600 watt inverter on a unit for $200. You're not going to get it. <laughs> if, if, if there is one, show it to me. And I'm, I'm, I'm talking about a name brand like this. Blue Eddy. Uh, some big names. I mean, EcoFlow. Something like that. Yeah, you probably could find... I don't even think you'll find it even in a cheap one. I haven't even seen it in a cheap version. And no, Blue Eddie is not sponsoring this. Blue Eddie is not paying me. I just seen a good unit. I researched it. And I said, hey, hey let's get with it. Let's get with it. Why they, why why you can get it before, before, it's, uh, before it's gone. Because things change so fast. I'm like, look up the days you think you got tomorrow. That might be about 400. So, why the getting is good? Get it. If you want to research it, hey, do your own research. Go on the Blue Eddy website. They'll tell you all about it. Got to interrupt. Uh, you got the UPS built into it. Let me turn this off because this is hot. Gee, more nice. You can see as I shut that down. The output down and is at seventy one percent, and it showed you how much time it had left in in the unit itself as well. I like the handle, nice handle. Carry with, and I like the fact that it folds down too, because that would be kind of difficult to put your phones up here with this handle just sticking up. Most I got a bunch of units, and the units just. It don't collapse. You just got to put it up under the handle. And I don't really care too much for that. This folds completely down out of your way. I was uh, wondering, could I run this? I think this would have now. That would have been too much. I would say if I ran this and the vacuum cleaner and the heaters. But it's already proven itself most definitely for me.
today. The Blue 8380. Blue 80 EB38. Definitely, I recommend you pick this unit up. This would be great for your camping, great for your medium-sized appliances that you're trying to run. It will run it. I actually know for a fact, because I've already done the, done, uh, the test, it would actually run your washing machine. I've ran my washing machine on this unit, and it ran a full cycle on the unit. All I'm going to tell you guys is if you run the cycle, when you get to your speed, your spin cycle, when you get to the spin cycle, turn your spin cycle down because mine has four four levels of speed. Turn it down to two because that motor really ramps up when you try to do that full four and the four and the speed four and then over and then a run over and an overload. Then you have to reset it and then start uh, start the unit back up again. But I have a whirlpool and if you do it on your the regular wash is no problem. It'll, it'll run that. If you take that and you put it on uh, two or your spin cycle on two, it will definitely run that spin cycle. It'll run it. It'll run the whole cycle and wash your clothes. And I think that's awesome for a unit this small. Yeah, man, this <laughs> I'm I'm impressed, Blue Eddie. <laughs> yeah, nah, they 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 got me. I, I had a favorite, but you just beat the favorite. And another reason they beat the favorite, they have a pass through charger. Now, uh, I was was my uh, favorite for a minute. It was EBL because I like the you know I me mean? had a, a, a nice size, a a bigger uh, inverter. But this one here came in with six hundred watt inverter versus a three hundred thirty watt inverter. Surge of a thousand pass through charging. Uh, they type C on the EBL. It doesn't even tell you how much power it puts out. Oh yeah, it's adjustable. It, it adapts to whatever you plug up. Um, this one here, it says right on there, 100, 100 watt USB-C. Uh, I do like the, the style and the, the cube style or whatever, but when it comes down to it, and uh, you need something to have a little bit more power to, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. It's a feature on here where if I wanted to hook up four of these, I can run all four, but I'm, it's in, all this is in the app. I'm telling you now, it's not gonna be a pure sine wave. When you switch over that, switch over that to, to that selection and decide you wanna run four heaters, all it does is drop the amperage it fools like it's fooling the unit, but it, it's not friendly. It's not, it's not clean, clean energy, and it could mess up your units. It could mess your units up. So that's not a good. I don't recommend that because I've seen some people burn up coffee makers and they had to go buy another one. It's just not a good idea. It's it will it'll run it, but it's not a good idea. Then it'll slow down the production, how hard it blows, how hard it blows, the fan blows, and all that. It'll slow all that down. Um, I just don't recommend it. Uh, it's just, but the feature is there for people that want to use it. You can use it at your own discretion. I'm just not going to use it. But I'm, I'm glad that it, I mean, it's good to get it on there. But if for the case of mercy, you need to get something to just get it started or something like that. But constantly trying to run it off of that? No. No. Oh, it also has turbo charging built into the blue Eddie, into the app. It's a, it's more stuff in the app than it is on the actual unit. I guess that purpose was to save some money because it's such a it's a budget unit. The price is so good on the unit. Uh, I guess that was to save money. But nevertheless, they still it's it's an awesome unit for the price. You got your built in charging port for your charger i mean you can't i mean you can't go wrong you can't go wrong with this unit and by far right now uh believe it or not between the this blue eddie and my second in line favorite would be 
the uh the own power station the own power station by from Walmart and that is insane. And they the same as that. Well the own power the own power station used to be two hundred watts, two hundred dollars and then they marked it down to ninety nine dollars and I went in the other day and they had it marked down again for seventy some dollars. I said, Oh, gotta get it. So now I got more than one. <laughs> but my thing about it is it's got more than one USB C port. It's got it's got everything that this one got, except it doesn't have the six hundred watt inverter. It doesn't have that surge capacity that high. It only has one plug on it and it's on the side. Uh, another thing I like about it is the display stays on until you turn it on. And it only uses one percent one percent of power. This display gets on my nerves. As you can see, since the video, it'll turn off 50 times. It keeps turning off, turn on, turn It just keeps turning off. That's irritating. I would like for that thing to stay off. If they can do anything, go back and correct that or put in some type of firmware or something where that lighter just stay on and won't cut off. And you know I mean? You, and we can turn it on and off ourselves. So like we can turn on the AC, DC, and all this other stuff. You can turn the light on, too, remotely from your phone. You know what I mean? So why not have this where we can have it on so we can turn off what we want to as a consumer. That's the one thing I, I don't like. And the uh, the own does have pass-through charging. Now, if the own had an inverter this size with that same watt capacity, now I'm talking to own. <laughs> if y'all had that same watt capacity or better, and I think it would be a run, a big run up for me of which one that I would like the best because that the uh, the owner also has a weather the weather uh channel built in and Blue Eddie doesn't have that. I mean, I like it. I don't know what somebody else think about it, but if you can get everything compacted into one unit, why not? If it's got what oh got the built in weather radio, awesome. Another thing that uh, Blue Eddie has, it has Bluetooth speaker. Not Blue Eddie, but uh, the own. It has a Bluetooth speaker that's built in as well. Uh, matter of fact, we ain't got to keep talking about it. I just show you. Uh, let me see. See, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. See, on the side, it's got your inverter. It's only got one plug. You turn it on here. This here is actually the speaker. It's got a built-in Bluetooth speaker. You know what I mean? You can Bluetooth from your phone and listen to music, charge up your devices at the same time. You can see right here, it's got the weather band. It's got the Bluetooth up and down volume, power on, power off. If I do this, you can hear. Wait a minute. Power on. Bluetooth. Bluetooth pairing. See? Power off. I like it. When I'm, I'm wondering this guy speak on both sides. It's got a breeze somewhere, so you must got a fan in there and a speaker. Cause I can hear it on both ends, and then it's got the light on the end of the unit here. Yeah, again with that stupid SOS. <laughs> Seriously, but you see what I mean. And you can see that the Blue Eddie is a shorter unit. It's, it's taller than this unit. You got to do the exception of this rod. That's what I was talking about. These state rods, the uh, handles. Well, you, and then it had a charging pad under it. Not this one, but another one. But still, if if they would just have made the inverter, the inverter on this is like 200 watts. If they had made the inverter on this bigger, it's got a display is not as big and glamorous as a uh, blue Eddie. Nope. But they got the same thing. They have, they got this, the, uh, the DC. And then it's got a, a power button for each section. And you'll see right here, it's got two USBs, which is 3.3.1, 3.1 amp. Then you got your, uh, your PD output and then your input. That's a lot packed into one unit. I, I love when they do that. When they pack it all into one unit like that, the weather radio could be better, my personal opinion. 
like really catch some station, catch a station or, or clearly. I mean, cause a lot of time I try to do it, it don't really do that. It doesn't do that well. Well, maybe I should. I'm gonna try it again before I really critique it. I'm gonna try it again and see how I like it. But guys, this is a bargain if you ever got one for ninety nine bucks, ninety nine dollars. You get your weather radio, you get your Bluetooth, uh, you get your uh, inverter, which, which again, if it was six hundred watts. If there was a 600-watt inverter in here with a peak power just like that, and um, you know, it already has passed through charging already on it, then you're looking at, I would have to really guess, like, hey, say for something that's off-brand versus Blue uh, Blue Eddy, I would have to like say, hey, uh, <laughs> I like the own better, you know? But it don't have that. 200-watt capacitor on the inverter. Everything else, you know what I mean? Screen, regular screen could be a little bit bigger, you know what I mean? But other than that, if they just change the inverter on this unit itself, which I don't even know if they're going to come out with anything else or not, because I see they're trying to mark them down and get them out of the store. But if they would do that, man, that would this would be an awesome unit. Because I haven't seen anybody put Bluetooth and weather radio and all that built into one with the inverter and everything in one. I haven't seen that before. So that would be awesome. But on does not have an app. <laughs> it does not have an app. See, I can easily go into this unit right here and turn the uh, turn the lights on. I ain't gotta get out, get up and do nothing. I can sit right here, turn my uh, the AC on, DC on, and whatnot. So that that would. Uh, Blue Eddy has the edge when it comes to the app. They also have an edge when it comes to the inverter. And uh, also have an edge when it comes to the U uh, UPS. They have the built-in UPS. Uh, they got the eco mode. Uh, they got several perks that kind of push them over the top, I must say. But right now, this Blue Eddy is my favorite unit and i will have to after that i will have to uh unless eco flow change my mind <laughs> unless one of them change my mind i don't know right now uh blue eddie is winning the show <laughs> so again this mississippi survivor guys give the video a thumbs up so we can spread this. A lot of people, we really need to be prepping and getting prepared uh, for anything. It's not one particular specific thing for anything. I had some things that happened to me that just sparked my mind, and I got some more stuff that I want to do a review on that I, I promise you, you guys will definitely need it. I definitely want it. I promise you that. So I'm going to get ready to close out of here. It's time to go eat some neck bones and college greens or something. I'm going to say goodbye. Close your eyes. <laughs> Mississippi survival in this thing. I got to get on out of here, y'all. Y'all have a good one. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace.